Thunderbrunt. Warning! The following program may contain adult or offensive language, excessive drinking, extra lives, heavy nostalgia, dragons, and general dipshittery. Listener discretion is advised. Heard it first one morning, driving in the car. Really oh, like the lyrics and the sound of the Welcome to Madcast, the official podcast of the Music and Gaming Festival. My name is Big Adam. With me, as always, I know you love that. Dude. With, <laughs> with me, as always, sitting next to my on my left side, I should say, is the perfect gaming human. He's wearing a red shirt because he's an idiot. <laughs> and he loves Pokemon because he's also an idiot. I'm I touching the mic so much right now. I heard he was genetically have to edit modified. So he's genetically out. modified idiot. His name's Orvi. What's up, dude? Hi, everybody. Oh. He's like Captain America, but for video gaming. And dumb. <laughs> but it looks like Bucky. Really? Except yeah, way he, smarter than me. You, you got like that super soldier serum, and now you're like on. You're like the perfect gaming human. The perfect oh, okay. game. <laughs> he's, he's Captain I don't start Activision, anything, but I'll finish it. It's an Activision. <laughs> Captain Activision. God damn it. God damn and it. And the, the lovable redheaded son of a bitch next to him. him. Everybody loves him, but nobody knows why. Everybody comes up to me and always goes, are you Orvi? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no. You dash their dreams. I'm like, no, I'm not Orvi. I'm that other guy. <laughs> the one that nobody cares about. You know, maybe we should start doing that. We sh- I should <laughs> no, like you'll be Orvi and I'll be Huey. Oh man! Because li- listen, if they're really paying attention to the podcast, we call we we constantly call to the fact that Huey's a ginger guy. Yeah, yeah, seriously. What so, a bunch of dildos. God. Yeah. We should all just become whoever we're playing in. Fallout. But maybe because I have red hair and you're red rupee, they get like signals crossed or something. Yeah, because it's a red herring. <laughs> hey. Oh, hey. who's next? <laughs> that's that's Huey Hessen, Hanzo, whatever you want to call Who him cares? anymore. Who even cares? This what is, is all his garbage. Name? Anyway, across from him, Matt Cat's very own technical producer, Mr. Ryan Meyer. What's, What's going up? on, buddy? Not much. Sexy I see you missed a name in there. There's, there's, there's usually Mike, a name before mine. Mike wait, TV wait. is celebrating the first birth or the first birth day <laughs> of, <laughs> of first the first birth, birth in his from life. From the paintbrush that is from the paintbrush that is his magical magical wiener and a new challenger. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I don't, know I want, I I don't do. want to introduce myself. I'm Everybody else got an introduction. Sure new challenger. Mike TV is celebrating the first the first birthday of Connor, aka Little Kerbal. Little Con Air, our favorite little Kerbal. <laughs> Con Air. But but uh, filling in for him this go round, in town from playing the magical magical too many game show. More like too many rains. Hey, uh, boy, no. the whole boy, do we have lot. rain stories this week? Oh Good God, Lord! Yeah, that was nothing. Professor Shy Guy, hi. What's going on, buddy? Hi, guy. Not too much. I'll just yeah. be uh, sitting here trying not to poop the whole time. Oh, there's a lot of it in there. <laughs> it is queued up, ready to go. We went to an Irish restaurant and followed it directly with frozen yogurt. It probably was not the best idea. So I don't think the Stack. Irish ever had that in mind. No. With the <laughs> and, they call, and they called me like an hour before they got back, and they're like, yeah, we're almost done eating. So I went over and then had to wait for them because they stopped I didn't. I messaged yogurt. you 30 minutes, and I didn't get any frozen yogurt. <laughs> Just saying I'm the best friend. You here. were with them. <laughs> Look, I, Guilty I, I by he, association. He I had to take them. They're yeah. guests. Ugh. Whatever. <laughs> I tried. Huey, it doesn't... You're still a bad person. I messaged him 28 minutes before we got here said we're almost done food. Just because you're friendly, it doesn't make you any less of a bad person. <laughs> I think that that's probably It only true. takes me 20 minutes to get here. So eight minutes you'd be sitting here instead of... 18. All right, look, I'm Whatever. sorry. <laughs> Jeez, I can't win. I'm done. Nope. How you doing, Brian? He wins that game and all games. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks well. me out. I'll tell you what. Let's start out... This yes. episode with some th- this, by the way, let's go ahead and just announce it now. This episode is definitely going to be the mag stock review episode, the rap episode. Oh god, that's kind of it's going to be ridiculous because we did a lot of fun things. But before we get into that, before we get into that Max wonderful Stock-Block. weekend that that was, um, let's talk about Process. some future events. Let's talk about Bit Gen Gamer Festival. Oh yeah, it's going to be happening at Artscape this year in Baltimore. Totes it's going free. To be, it, exactly, it's the weekend <laughs> of July seventeenth through the nineteenth. 
in downtown Baltimore. DTB. Uh, Artscape, you know if me. you don't know, is the biggest freestanding arts festival in the country. Baltimore has it every summer, and it's always a really, really good time. Bitch End this year is you turning from is a one-night show. Go what? ahead. What's that? We're doing a little sidebar. Yeah. No, you can, go ahead. I was going to make a joke about things that are freestanding. I, I, I withdraw my opener. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> This year, Bitch End's going Wieners! From... <laughs> ah, Got him! Dick jorks. Uh, Jesus Christ. The... This is why we don't have any listeners. <laughs> That's exactly why nobody no, likes not. this <laughs> There's so many other reasons. <laughs> <laughs> it's a laundry list. Bitch End's turning from a one-night musical concert into a three-day event. It's going to be really, really, really fun. I'm just going to name off some of the bands here. We've got Bit Brigade playing two sets. Foo Whoa. Fighters. We've got <laughs> Pixelator. <laughs> we've got Mike Zucker. We've got Night of the Round. God, I love those guys. They play just extreme heavy metal to Final Fantasy music. It's incredible. Meshuggah. Uh Samus and Megaran and Lucio Pro and Chronicles of Sound and Danimal Cannon Kid and the Ultra Ball <laughs> and the X Hunters and Steel Samurai. And cheap dinosaurs, and rare candy, and heart racer, and Rage you bred raptors. Reunion. Oh my God! There's just I so love I love that if you didn't actually <laughs> if you're not familiar with the video game music scene, Adam could just totally just be randomly <laughs> naming. Yeah, I could just be Tupperware saying block bashers. He could you actually are. be having a stroke right now, and we wouldn't know it. <laughs> Mushroom nights, block bashers, just <laughs> just I mean. <laughs> Uh, Jesus Christ. Um, Foos Rodon, the Pit Boys. <laughs> <laughs> pew, pew, the, bang, bang. The one that I didn't mention, the one that I'm actually very, very excited for, coming all the way down from Canada, as if that's a huge journey. But if they're tra- uh, crossing you know, the American border uh, for the second time, I believe, ever, is going to be Tupperware Remix Party. And if you don't know who that is, you need to... Yeah, Google. Get some YouTube going. <laughs> Google. Get some Yugle going. There. Well, that's what they Yugle. call. That's what they call it in Canada. <laughs> Yugle. Yugle. <laughs> Yugle. Like it's it. Yugle.ca, eh? <laughs> no, it's just Come one a great donut. Yeah. <laughs> Get some donairs from the uh, the Tim Hortons. In addition to all that, we're going to have a giant, giant screen on top of a building to play with. There is a Ooh. incredibly large LED board that is going to have some pretty cool video game stuff on it. I'm not going to ruin all the surprises, but if you've listened to the stuff this far, you should be able to put one and two together because it's going to be ridiculous. Definitely come out to Bitch End this year. I would highly, highly, highly suggest Friday Nights. Uh, because Friday night's going to be completely ridiculous. In addition to all the bitch end stuff, we're also still going to be doing our usual Gamescape setup at Artscape as well. So inside, just past the wacky madness stage that is going to be bitch end, go on inside to UB and find a whole dazzling array of indie indie developers. We're going to have consoles and arcade machines, just like every every other year. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be so good. And on a more Come personal seek refuge note, from the heat because our yeah, escape is always, so always hot. on the hottest weekend of the year. I uh, on a more personal note, uh, definitely come check out all the Magfest stuff. Obviously, that's going to be awesome, but also don't forget to check out the Baltimore Rock Opera Society stuff. Doing an event called Brocean City, it's going to be really fun. That's not even that's not even in Baltimore. Brocean City is elsewhere. It's in Maryland. <laughs> <laughs> it's just good lord I don't think it's in Baltimore on, a, on, a, on an extra personal is. note I won't even be there I'm gonna be in Italy during that week so all of our Italian listeners <laughs> come meet Huey <laughs> Huey is it's actually gonna be hosting Huey. a live yeah, madcast meet and Huey's greet. going to Italy to meet up with all of our Italian yeah. listeners so if you <laughs> see Huey he's a giant red headed American who's probably smiling and singing something having to do with Frank Sinatra yeah uh, so, Bobbity Booby bo- <laughs> so so if you live in Italy and are listening to this right now and you want to meet up with Huey, Head send us an Italian email at, at podcast at magfest dot org. <laughs> I we strike that off the list. Okay? Yep. Yeah. All right. We actually didn't do that last episode. We didn't do I it. Really and I, I thought that, that something I felt hollow. But anyway, you know what? Well, I'm that's putting, because you don't have a soul. I'm putting away my notes. Oh, Jesus. I don't need the notes anymore because we're going to talk about Magstock. Are we? That was yeah. Did that we're going to be talking about Magstock. I don't need those notes either. Those <laughs> notes are garbage. 
It's just keeping me on track, really. Yeah, that's the main reason. We rambled a lot last episode. <laughs> trying to... We did. We did. Let's talk about Magstock. Well, the MOOCs. The MOOCs of MAGFest. Whoa, that's what whoa, we call whoa. Ourselves. That's not even public knowledge. Oh, let's, that's let's... public knowledge. No. Yeah, okay. So all seven people who ever hear this, one of which being me. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, you better censor that shit. I don't want this out in the open. Yeah, no, people are going to try and need, ask for MOOC membership. Need, we don't need Prater <laughs> to have more ammo against us, all right? <laughs> that's true. That is true. <laughs> we were actually just talking about how we were going to get MOOC, MOOC jackets. Yeah. Oh Bedazzle. We're going to get uh, leather cuts. <laughs> I was saying, like, the tunnel snakes. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> and, and, then, and then we got around to, like, the 50s sharks the and jets opera. thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 Of course we sing. Yeah. We're a gang. Yeah. We're a gang. <laughs> <laughs> More importantly, we snap. That's true. Uh, Snapping is crazy. Oh, well, well, Snapping, you know, I think, you is can't snap trailer. unless we invite snaps to the gang. Oh, snaps. little little Steve is coming along. He's a satellite yeah. mook. Yeah. There are many he's satellite moves. Satellite <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's currently running the new Jersey I don't, branch. I don't, man, I don't approve of this. Of this cre- uh. Yeah, anyway, we, we had done? a campsite. <laughs> yeah, this is We had a campsite control. that was themed this year. Did we? What? <laughs> Were you what? there? <laughs> I guess, man. What did, the you, flying fuck are you doing today? I, I did did know, you guys man. like like dig up dinosaur bones or something? <laughs> God, uh, it was one big pile <laughs> of shit. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Lord, we had dinosaurs and a bunch of them. We had a bunch of inflatable dinosaurs. We had. We clocked the T-Rex at 35 miles an hour, I think. <laughs> oh, we did? That, yeah, yeah. That mo- without question. Yeah. Minimum. Yeah, easy We had enough. a six-foot-tall stand cardboard stand-up of Chris Pratt. As Star-Lord. As dressed up as, as Star-Lord. With Ingen saying, face mask. Saying Ingen with Jurassic Park logos in his eyes. Yes. On his mask, <laughs> which was removable. <laughs> <laughs> it was the most impressive stand-up I've seen in quite some yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. We really. had uh, some art. We had some Can beautiful art. we describe art? the art? The art? We oh, two, we the had two, the two images. Many people did come up and just take pictures of the art, which was. I want to look for. Pi- I haven't looked for pictures. We need to. Do we, this. we really should. Uh, it was um, Jeff Goldblum lying with his shirt with open. One? Oh, yeah, I've got to go with a hardcore one. Yeah, no, you save that one after Muldoon. Well, Muldoon is looking at the people. No, who are... the, the 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 great part is they all flock to Jeff Goldblum and then they look over and Muldoon, and Muldoon is, is just is staring, staring at them. <laughs> it's the picture of him uh, saying <laughs> "clever girl." Yeah. yeah. But uh, it's it's like a it's like an art it's like a portrait of not a portrait but like a like a nice landscape of uh, gold blue shirt, shirt open and he's holding like a butterfly and it's just beautiful <laughs> and that was given away to uh, previous number one listener Zach, Zach Star, Star Wars, Wars for for providing us with ice for the entire week he <laughs> earned it he wanted that that poster so bad that we gave it to him as long as he kept our coolers iced down no, it wasn't a poster so it was a banner. Did. Yeah, it was, it was like grommets and it everything. Was of, it, was, it was made of plastic. It was nice. We, yeah. you know, we should give a real quick shout out to Mr. Chris Zaleski. Chris Zaleski. For, for making all of this wonderful he art. He hung out with us for approximately 24 hours. And then he woke and up. Then, managed. He told me, he's like, I woke up sweaty and hung over. And I was like, man, fuck this. And he just rolled. <laughs> yeah, he left. <laughs> He drank, I mean, how he many drank the be, better yeah. part of a 30-pack yeah. and then went to sleep. And then no wonder. He yelled about Miss Marvel a lot. Woke up yep. and failed. <laughs> he really wanted Brand to acknowledge that he recognized him as Miss Marvel. Brand! He had a Miss Marvel Before shirt. you got there, and I, I noticed even when he told you, you were kind of like, yeah, yeah. But but like before you got there, he, he said it like a dozen times. <laughs> it's like no one even knew. No one even knew that he was Miss Marvel. No one even knew. <laughs> I, I knew. They call themselves nerds. <laughs> I knew. I touched oh, the mic. Oh, man. He was no. Off. Yep. It's ruined. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. That's All right. Fine. Let's start right. over, guys. Yeah, we're going to have to. We're going to have to. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> We're, we're going to have to bring Mike back on. This isn't working out. Yeah. <laughs> His name's Mike. You touch Mike. Hold on. Oh, no. I'm confused uh, now. Mikeception. <laughs> but yeah, so <laughs> as a consequence of our Jurassic Park times, uh, we had the appearance of the Jeff Gold Blue Man group. Oh, man. <laughs> See, I missed this because I, I, wasn't, you were asleep. I wasn't feeling good. I went to bed early that night. Well, that's what happened. You, you really bed, didn't you miss, miss anything. <laughs> so yeah. the, they, these guys, man, you and I, did you see them? Yeah. Okay. It, was, it was Jesse Jarvis and two of his cronies, and they were either intoxicated so you knew them. or something I thought they else. were just I know one of them. Strangers one from the mist. It was probably the one guy was probably uh, Jesse's cousin because Jesse's cousin rolls around uh, with them a lot. Jesse's yeah. cousin. So, yeah. And who was it that gave us the JP3 cassette? Or not the cassette. Oh, that was we just went right yeah. past the Blue Man group. It was you Supersonic, didn't it wasn't it? Oh, yeah, we didn't. Supersonic, didn't. Supersonic right. stumbled into our campsite with a Jurassic Park 3 VHS. 
And when we when we said we didn't even have a VCR, he hurled it into at the wall. woods. No, he hurled at it a at, a tree. Tree. <laughs> at a tree. It hit the tree and laid there. And then later we had the idea we're like we should have filmed it getting covered by mud. Yeah, <laughs> like, like the uh, barbasol. And like then the and then he came. stumbled out and fell over and roamed out, out of our sight. And hopefully he made it home. But okay. Brant's right. We did not explain yeah. the Jeff Bo- Jeff Goldblum and group. Oh yeah, we skip around. See, this is why we <laughs> need notes. So, so they yeah. came in and one of them just started. Talking about Jeff Goldblum, and then no, he came in. He's like, "We're we're here to get Jurassic turned, like, uh, Jurassic turned, yeah, Jurassic turned." <laughs> and, and, I, and yeah, we Good were pun. like, "We're pretty turned down right now." Yeah, we're kinda, like you're like, welcome to chill. It was late. Yeah, this was like this was Friday night. It was like probably like what ten thirty or so. Yeah, and like it was it was raining outside. We were sitting under our tarp. Um, yeah, and they just they sh- I mean I think they just came by because we had a tarp and yeah, writing. What a righteous but tarp that was. <laughs> that was a glorious tarp. <laughs> really, but really was. So, Jeff so Goldblum and group. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk about the tarp later. So so they just come in and he says, "So you, you guys you guys dig up dinosaur bones?" <laughs> and if you if you're familiar with the with the meme from that at all, like it's just the weird awkward laugh that he does after, in response. <laughs> <laughs> and one of them just started you doing that ZZ Top. hard <laughs> for like ten minutes straight, and the other guys were like, "Man, we gotta record this guy. He's the best." And, and it then was... it went on. For ten straight minutes, <laughs> and we're and we're conversing <laughs> meanwhile, and they're not saying anything to us. They're just doing weird Goldblum laugh, <laughs> and then they go, "All right, see you," and they just leave, <laughs> and that was it. It was the way, the way the way our campsite was set up. It was actually pretty closed off, so the so we didn't get like a lot of like normal traffic. The only traffic we did get were the brazen intoxicated nerds that had no had no social anxiety anymore and just barged <laughs> in. So that that it was kind of a double edged sword. <laughs> Whereas we didn't get any normal traffic to like hang out, not that there was a campfire, but uh, and and then the people that came in were just uh, it was it was an interesting variety of folk we got. <laughs> well, we have stories. We do. Oh, we, we do. That We've one. got tales. Uh, it was also the birth of the of the Magstock Spot Clock. Oh, it was, and then the, it was the, actually the, created, and the then the Mag Death Spot Clock after. incarnate. <laughs> yeah. God. Magstock. Huey Spock hurled it right to the ground. I didn't. God. That's what's weird. I do heard. that. I was there. Whatever, whatever. Why don't he do that? I'm not that? even gonna defend myself. I, I, I broke know, it. Man. Whatever you guys know. feel like saying how I broke it, <laughs> that's fine. But yeah, I also I also did a half, uh, you know, halfway Doctor Grant. Oh uh, yeah, yeah that was up. solid. Yep. Yeah. And then you used my my floppy hat. Which I used the floppy. I didn't have a white hat. That was all I was missing. Yeah. I had the, I had the red. It was it was it was it dynamite. Was, yeah, the red bandana. The red, yeah, it's wrapped wrapped that around my neck in a little, in a little knot. Actually, yeah, I went on and danced for for yeah. for Mr. Shy Guy <laughs> over oh, there. Yeah. I knew you were dressed up as somebody. Yeah, we I was I was, I was granting it. Uh, from the original dress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But yeah, that wasn't blue, the only cosplay that we pants. did. <laughs> he was he was like he's not wearing that bandana for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we also did a little event that we called Star Shores. That was true. On oh, the man, lake, I the second that day shit. on God the damn. lake, we uh, we had some Star Wars costumes, but not in the traditional sense. They were all beach themed Star Wars costumes. So, for instance, Ryan was Darth Vader, and he was just wearing black trunks, a cape, <laughs> and scuba goggles, and a scuba breather, a snorkel. Yeah. A snorkel, a snorkel, 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 yeah. snorkel it looks dynamite. It was amazing. So he was he was Darth Vader. Uh, I wore armed with a uh, water projectile lightsaber. Yeah, as yeah. Well. He, he, he found some lightsabers that uh, the 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 hilt extends downward, and then you 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 put it in the water and pull the hilt back, and then slam it forward to squirt water everywhere. It was marvelous. <laughs> I it was did the best I, I, 96 cents I've ever spent. <laughs> I went I went with Obi-Wan and I wore just the tabards and and the bathing suit with that and the and the Obi sash. Uh Huey Huey had just the just the vest. So we're we're all we're all shirtless and ready for the beach. Uh but we were all ready for Star Wars and of course Adam had some nice furry brown swim trunks <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and a beer bandolier that's for, true. for the Chewbacca. The beer bandolier was beautiful. Yep. <laughs> that was good. You still got that, right? Cuz that's still super useful for yeah. non yeah, Chewbacca should, that, related that's things. Happen. The old candelier. So then old after after candle. our initial photo candle. shoot yeah. of of Star Shores, we then uh, the the lake at Magstock at the small cu- country campground has a couple large flotation devices way out in the lake, uh, like a like a thirty thirty foot in diameter trampoline up on yep. a giant flotation device, and then they have this big flying saucer thing out there that's like it's it's a big round circle, and then it has a ring around it 
like a Saturn ring, and then it has a bunch of knobby knobby protrusions and uh, and a bunch of handles, so you can climb up and it wobbles around and it falls over, and it can hold like you know like twelve people. It's a large yeah. giant flotation device. So that became our target as as the floating death. Star. Uh, well, no, so we were we were hanging out by the shore doing doing star shores, and they just started like. Butchering. Doing really crappy oh. covers of like I think it was Disney songs or well, something, yeah. and we hilarious. were like, "Oh man, yeah. that's no moon. They need to die." <laughs> well, it started with bad versions of pop songs, but when they moved on to Disney yes, stuff, that Ryan was, right. was truly offended. <laughs> that was that was not going to stand. So then we uh, we got some rope, and we, we tied all of our floats, all of our flotation devices, and together. we tied them all together to make a battle cruiser, and we put Admiral Tricerabar on the front as the- our flagship uh oh, leader i'm having flashbacks the millennium floatkin <laughs> but uh Got a but little PTSD going on. god <laughs> look it was it, it was didn't a, go it well was, it, it didn't go well at all it was disastrous it was a fact, bad there bad were flight. more of them and they had the high ground and that was all it took <laughs> and they stole our dinosaur <laughs> they stole our dinosaur and they, they took him they teased us oh <laughs> oh, he's getting chilly. He's getting a little chilly. Oh, God, I'm they sorry. Kept, they played keep away with us. It was just like being a nerd in school again. Yeah. <laughs> cool I came I come to MAG events to get away from that guy. <laughs> <laughs> but they gave him back at the end. They did. Who went and got him? I think Burroughs did. Didn't yeah, Burroughs uh, did. Burroughs got the Triceratops. Uh, I just went out to get some of the toys. I, it was it was a, it was a it was a nightmare. It there was, was we brought way too many toys to that lake. It was yeah. like <laughs> cleaning up <laughs> after a battle, just like dead bodies. And so basically, what we're gonna have to do next time is get bigger and better floats and bigger and better water. Well, we need more people. They just had too many Look, people. I like what the one guy said. Buy a full on inflatable kiddie pool. Fucking roll out in that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's genius. That's, that's a, so that, good. That's a star destroyer right there. That is a pretty good idea. <laughs> Yeah. And st- until it gets water inside of it, and then you're done. <laughs> well, no, it's Dude, if we water. sink a kiddie pool into the middle of the lake at Small Country <laughs> Campground, that would that'll be, be one of the best moments of my whole life. <laughs> like, Dude, be... I feel like the bottom would just rip and we just drop right through it. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. That's also not a bad idea. I really like this idea. Oh man, we okay. So we all went in for dinosaurs. We could all go in for one giant, massive flotational, floaty monster. Oh, and we man. need to like we need to prepare with like tubs of water balloons next time. Oh, oh man, yeah. And th- I mean those the, the square. Well, that's that's junky you know though because we're coming for you, space. They're gone. Yeah, all that's going to go into the lake. You know what? We they need to fix the. Right. There's space there's a hit. person we need to get on our team that I think could help us with this, and I might be able to get him. God, His- <laughs> <laughs> the next best thing. Oh no. The Dingy DD. Dude. <laughs> Dingy dude. Oh my god. So there's this guy Talk at Magstock. Tugboat. Tugboat. Yeah, explain Dingy dude to the audience. Okay, so most people at Magstock come around and they go swimming in the lake with their flotation devices. What a legendary guy. And he <laughs> there this man, a shining beacon of a man. Oh man. Comes from around the bend of the lake. Yeah, we were just out splashing in a boat. <laughs> in a boat. In an inflatable dinghy. <laughs> with a motor. With with, a, with an electric fishing trolling motor. Wow. And we just started screaming dinghy dude. And he's like, get on my level! And he just go away. He, <laughs> with a thumbs up. Dude, dude. With a thumbs up in the air. He, he was in a... Just dinghied into the distance. He was in like a full like pocket pr- protector, like yeah. like nerd nerd decked out, like like khakis, white shirt, and pocket protector. Just in his dinghy, in his boat. <laughs> cruising around. And it was the most amazing thing. He's just like, what's up, guys? <laughs> he, uh, he was Matthew McConaughey in Days of Confused. He, he, he was guys a movie dinghy. version of that. And he when he wasn't in his dinghy, he, he brings his, his uh, modified golf cart to <laughs> give just, people rides from point A to point B. They just tear ass around that. Oh, man. He's a legend. Dingy. If we can get Dingy Dude on board. I, I know Dingy Dude. He's you, like the... the I like, met him, and I know him now. We're friends on Facebook. You know, he's I want to say, before cool the, whole, the, whole, the whole famous thing was a joke, but now that I know you know Dingy Dude... He's actually <laughs> Jesse Jarvis's other cousin. So is Max he's like, like just like a Jarvis family reunion? He really is. <laughs> he's like he the really cavalry is. you call in, like you're attacking the base, and then you're like, the thing you fucking Dingy is, Dude! And then he dude comes in and he flanks them. Also works fucking at an billions? airport, so he's got access to airplanes. So we can have like <laughs> like like a private airport, not like I, I a big need, one. I'm gonna need him to fly over and just drop water <laughs> the water balloon. On the enemy. I'm just payload. It's, it's not completely oh, out of the question. <laughs> Whoa, we're coming for you, space tit. <laughs> Laser sight. Wait, they were on the space tit at the trampoline. Yeah, yeah they, they were on the space tit. Uh, and then you they, couldn't we, get them off the space tit. No. Dude, it was. We don't want to talk wow. about it. Dude, wow. there were like That's forty people on that tit. It's hard to get two people on that thing without launching one off. 
It, that's, that, that is very true. To be fair, yeah. like, all we were doing was spraying water at them. There wasn't any, like... But oh, they did you keep didn't leaping jostle off it. and dive-bombing us, which that's was... That's true. That was terrifying. That's awesome. Yeah. We're going to need, like... Fuck, I'm sad I missed that. Like, like fire engine-level pressure here. You were like, I don't want to go to the lake. I want to play board games. And then you went and played board games, and we got attacked. You did, yeah. you did actively did decline. I, John, 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 Many Bothans died. Oh, man. Yeah. That, <laughs> did you hear know, how quiet he got? He's trying to blame Jonna, who's upstairs right now. Sun, she didn't want to suntan lotion it up. She's afraid of like sunburns more than most things. <laughs> oh, uh, I mean, that's reasonable. I got, I've been sunburned heinously bad yeah. before. But yeah, no, you guys were like, we're going to go play board games. And it was we a lot of fun. And started a battle. Yeah. We, <laughs> guys, I'm yeah, going to start was, looking was that now. Friday or Saturday? Or Saturday. Saturday. That, that was Saturday. Saturday during the day. Yeah. Well, what, because what, that was right before the Great Flood. Yeah. Well, what, what, there, was there yeah, anything the else? The biblical Friday? event. <laughs> Dude. God damn it! I was so so. So there was off. a mistake, uh, uh, a, a small oversight in us <laughs> theming our our campsite to Jurassic Park, and that <laughs> it brings, of course, disaster with it. It oh, does. The storm. And there was a tropical. The remains storm of a through. tropical storm was coming overhead Saturday night, and our campsite was literally in the drainage path of almost the entire campground that we were surrounded by. So I want to take it through a point by point, starting an hour before the storm and then going through the storm. Okay. So initially It all started with a visit from Dom. It did. <laughs> Dom Dom the 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 No, uh, that's all I wanted to say. The it local the local meteorologist who is literally out in the wet Midwest right now chasing, chasing tornadoes. Storms. He's literally chasing tornadoes right now. So it's like whenever he's like uh, for today I guarantee it. And Dom was like <laughs> and popped some champagne. <laughs> 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 so, it. so uh, we, we, we knew about the storm coming and ryan's like you know what guys i think i'm gonna pack up and i'll, I'll you know if, if it's not so bad i'll just stay in huey's tent which we didn't mention which is why he's a technical advisor because he's smart exactly yeah. broke down ryan was all cleaned up so that whole <laughs> section was open and then uh matthew and his his gal mm-hmm. moved into your spot yep so rumblings and then the storm moved in. so, wait, so wait, before before rumbling. i think before we even get into the, the storm i think we should give them a, a Audio layout of the campsite. Okay. So yeah, you go, ahead. No, you, you, okay. go ahead. Go ahead. So uh, so if you're coming off the road, you have the entrance. There's there's a car, the obligatory car parked there, uh, backed in. We've got our, our Jeff Goldblum on one side and uh, Muldoon. Muldoon on the other side. Yeah. Thank you. Um, the, as the form, the sort of entryway. You walk in, and then you you are under the most glorious tarp just you have incredible. ever seen like in we your could life. Out a nuclear explosion I, under that. We tarp. probably that could have. You'll that learn thing, what happens to everything that, else that, in the camp while the tarp stays strong. <laughs> where it's the that, thing where all the water. Okay. That that tarp was glorious. It was it made our weekend. Especially it rained a lot. Even outside of the storm, it rained a bunch, yeah, and it, yeah. it was great. That's why we had random drunk people coming over. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I mean, it was to what, the, like a forty by forty tarp. It was enormous. Yeah, it might have been forty by thirty because right. I think it was a little bit thirty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So underneath the tarp, we have our two picnic tables and the card table with the food and all. We were playing board games in there and all that stuff. On the right side, we have Orvi and Annie's tent with their little little porch patio thing kind of facing yeah. in. Uh, straight ahead and downhill, you have Adam and <laughs> Ashley's That'll tent. That'll come back later. <laughs> uh, yes, it will. At, at, the, at the bottom of the campsite. Uh, to the kind of coming around circularly to the left, you have Huey's uh, tent. And then to the left of that, you have Huey's tent. And to the left of that, you have Huey's tent. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Huey had a tent that was big enough for probably a probably dozen the entire people. camp. It, it's called, I, I think it, it's I, called a cabin tent. I think it said it sleeps what like ten. Look, I don't want to get into the. the <laughs> I no, it was very it, large. It, was 10, it, was it, 12, it, it had an, an integrated fan and light system, I believe. But uh, he was constantly was, talking. It was about. quite the tent. That was all uh, entertaining. It was all for himself. It was not originally <laughs> just for me. <laughs> By himself. <laughs> yep. It was great, though, guys. He put a double layer queen size bed in there and had enough room for a picnic table and a cot as well. Yep. <laughs> had he, things gone south, we could have just had the entire mag stock in my tent. That's all true. I'm saying. I thought ahead. We could, we could have done that. So then, rolling further to the left, you have my tent. And then further left still uh, until Saturday morning, you had Chris Zaleski's tent. Yeah. That true. was gone by the time the great storm of Saturday happened. And, and then. My and then tent. And then behind Huey's tent, kind of like in between Huey's tent and mine on the backside, uh, was our friend Matt and his girlfriend Lydia. Yeah. They were kind of they they showed up late. We had already kind of made our circle, so they yeah, just yeah. kind of set up outside. And they, they had easy access, so they were they were hanging out with us. <sighs> All right, so now now we can get into now. There's rumblings, and we're like, you know what, guys, it probably is not going to be that bad. Let's just no okay. There were, so there were a lot I of went doomsayers. There and were, I was, there were some I, was, doomsayers. I, was, I was I was trying my damnedest to shut them down. Yeah, I went across the camp to the cabin that we had, and it wasn't 
thunder sound. It was a constant rumble. It was a constant rumble of thunder. Yeah, yeah. it, it, it was like a movie. It would, get, it would get louder. I wouldn't believe it in if sometimes if it were in a movie to be constant thunder. <laughs> so there were a lot of people who were like, maybe we should leave. Uh, Ryan obviously packed up. He right was here. just like, I'm yeah, roll I brought out. my board game. Well, well I, I packed up with like, oh yeah, I'll probably just leave late tonight because I don't want to sleep out in this crap. And yeah. I was like, wait a second, if this storm's gonna be bad, maybe we should just like take off. We'll all go to bed nice and early tonight. We'll wake up tomorrow back in Baltimore. We'll go to somebody's house and we'll just continue mag stock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but there, there was a lot of ideas thrown around, but basically the end, the end of it was like, let's just ride it out, guys. It's gonna be okay. We'll it'll rain, but we at least we have the tarp. <laughs> <laughs> and. uh and uh, and then basically our enti- entire campsite next to us disappeared. Yeah. They all packed up and were like, <laughs> yeah. "F this." There see was you later. like twelve tents over there. Yeah, and they and just, they just up and fucking. Vanished. And we're constant <laughs> and we're constantly like getting getting radar updates, like trying to trying to figure out okay when is it going to hit? Which, which cells are going to be the worst? Is the first wave going to be the worst? Now let and... me pause real quick. I am terrified of thunderstorms. <laughs> I am absolutely terrified of thunderstorms. And if anything reinforced that, it was and that night. The yeah. only thing that I could do to get my mind off of what was happening around me was I just started making crab cakes. <laughs> <laughs> Sidebar. The most amazing crab cakes I've ever eaten. I ate all of them. Oh, wow. After okay. you left, I just kept eating them. I was like, is anybody else going to eat these? Because I will eat all of them. That and was then, my, that was my, my uh, grandma's recipe. Also, the chicken was stellar. Whoever made oh, the chicken. Oh, actually made that. That was also oh. great. I ate a lot of food after you guys left. I, That's all I'm saying. I'm glad that you enjoyed the crab cakes. I will be making them again. Out fucking standing. Yeah. So, back to that. That's, so, ha- that's how I kept my sanity until... Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't yeah, want yeah. okay. so, <laughs> to... We're, we're, we're like 6.15 right now. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, they, they predicted the storm would hit us at 6. At about 6.20, that storm hit us. And I. that's close enough. That's not quite Back to the Future 2, <laughs> which is, you know, was this year. So, I expect a little bit better. But they got it pretty close. So, whatever. Um, so then it begins to rain and oh my, it's it, actually at first it's not, it's not that it's bad. Not we're that, like, yeah. we're going to weather this. Yeah. Every, no problem. This is going like, to be fun. Well, yeah. We haven't even the wind started starts. with the, we haven't really, st- even really started with dinner by the time the rain started. And, no. and, and, like, and Brand has just, Brand has just set up a nice, a, a nice, nice table game. of yeah, legendary, Marvel legendary. Yeah. And the rain was going and we're like, this is fine. So this yeah, we moved fine. the table in and I'm standing, but I'm like, wait, like as a, as a, as a marker, I'm like, if it reaches to where I am, this has got to be put up. So it quickly reaches to where I am <laughs> just, by the table. No, like it's <laughs> slowly like reaching in we, and in we and We were in. scooting in from the edge of the tarp. Yeah. yeah. And and the rain, as the wind started picking up, we started seeing more and more speckles on yeah. the table. And Brand's getting more, like you see him like kind of like a, a scared parent. Like, oh, yeah. oh, no, you're going to get, oh, uh, no, <laughs> no cards, okay, okay, it's time to go inside. It's time to go inside. So uh, he wrapped up his game and threw it in a box and he were like, okay, uh, that's that's good. But then, then the real rain starts. And, yeah, we thought that and was the real yeah, rain. Yeah. That, that and the wave, first disaster of that, the night strikes. That wave ended. And no, it, no, the, the first yeah, wave uh, yeah. still happens. There's, there's it, action on oh, the first wave. I know what I'm thinking. Because basically, okay. you, you're cooking at the edge, and you're like, guys, yeah. I'm making these things. Just you know. And then disaster strikes. <laughs> <laughs> the, tarp, tarp. The, the, the magnificent tarp that we've been talking about. Just, One just of the then. snakes comes loose. And like... A '90s rave the, party. The, we all the raised most the roof. Important, <laughs> the most important. Oh, I was, of the no, I was bridge. gone by then. You had left. Because yeah, I, I was like, I'm taking my board game boxes. It's a cardboard fucking box full of board games. I'm like, I'm going to the inside food area, and I'm like, I'll come back on the next wave. There was no waves after that because that was the letdown of the first little thrust of wind. Right. I ate my steak, and then we headed in there. And then the this is the story where yeah. I get to hear that everything the, the tarp newly. falls down and we all immediately like it, like it was like a reaction bam all our arms go up and we hold the tarp up and I'm we're like holding the tarp with one arm and, and cooking and cooking yeah. <laughs> Adam, to the Adam, other. Adam did not move from in front of the grill which was on, under the edge of the tarp and he just he just kept he's going. just like we got to keep it, it was, off the grill somebody so we scrambled it, it was an incredible feat of reflex though because literally the tarp was like it it probably took like a, a second and a half to fall and, and by the caught. time it got to like. Anywhere near the grill, everyone in the campsite had stood up and caught it. And it was incredible. People across the road came and helped us. That's right. That yeah. guy was like, "I saw you guys in danger. I came." So yeah. <laughs> basically, we 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 relash the the the, tar- the the bit of um the rope the rope that had popped out. Yeah, and brought yeah, it back we, we put we put it around. Yeah, right. but it wasn't as good because we kept getting pulling, like it was pulling yeah. over those two areas, which you know you really couldn't avoid. 
So then we tried to relash the other side, make that a bit more secure, which we did. We put it around using the twister theory. Yes, yes. <laughs> yep. We put it on some <laughs> put on it a around pipe the well. Yeah, that went deep into the water, deep into the ground. So that was that was sort of that was the biggest thing that we had happen during this wave, and then it sort of tapered off for a few minutes. And and we was, all looked it was, at each it was other. about an hour actually between yeah. like we it all was looked like, at each other. We were like, man, that if it? that's literally it. We might, and at this point, there's probably two to three inches of water coming through. Oh the site. no, yeah, because there was before I left, there was the mudslide one. Yeah, yeah, the first, which I was like, I gotta get my cardboard box off the ground. That's right. Yes. I will go ahead and deem as the mini mudslide. Oh yeah, and, and there was like there was like a, a small stream essentially flowing through our yeah. campsite yeah. at this point because again, all the drainage from the entire pretty much campground. and it's going literally right through the middle, like under the under the picnic table that we were all sitting at is is just a small stream. Just per, yeah, and it's like I remember there's a point. Where I uh, I was standing in front of Matt's tent and I didn't have a whole lot of water on my feet and then suddenly I feel this like tide flow over my feet and I look over and it has pushed itself under Matt's tent and is just running through like a river <laughs> right over my feet and I was like this is all going to hell but then it tapered off yeah. and and it seemed like things were going to be gravy when we we ha- we no longer I think Prater wasn't around at that point so we didn't have her radar there that's right. So, but we we remembered there were like two big cells, and we were like, "There's two. There were two big blobs of red that we needed to worry about, and we and the survived first one the was main gone. one." Yeah, yeah, so we were like, "All right, this, we this should like, be okay." If, if that just happens again, it's gonna suck. But but we now we might be able to make a night of but this. But now now the tarp is more secure, so right. that won't happen again. So we felt pretty confident. That Worst we could... case scenario, we're gonna be sitting up on our chairs, just can't touch the ground with yeah. our feet. Yeah. Floor is lava. Nice game of the floor is lava. Yeah. It was gonna be great. Yeah. We were fools. <laughs> yeah, we were. <laughs> because <laughs> then the second wave came, and one. I think I think it may he even have been me during the first wave that said, "Come on, guys, the second wave can't be worse than yeah. the first wave." Holy shit, were we wrong? Fools. <laughs> so, oh God. so Where, the two to three inch deep stream became a Slowly, legitimate river. Slowly, surely started rising inch by inch during the second wave into my tent. No, just straight on through your tent. It, it, it bowled your tent over. Well, no, no, no. Before, his, tent, his tent was repelling the water for a while. It was, while. It, was, for it, was a, it was doing well. It was, but I had the dog in there, and Ashley was like, that water's getting high. I'm going to go get the dog. And I was like, that's a good idea. So she unzips the tent. Which was a mistake. In, zips the tent back up to get the dog and to kind of get stuff to higher ground. And that's when the and biggest Then the wave. storm tripled in size, I think. <laughs> the intense, the rain intensified. <laughs> two to three inch water to f- six to seven inches of water in the stream. Just And it bowled our tent completely over. Blasting Jeez. through the campsite. And like his, his tent, Adam has the nice waterproof tent. The bottom, is the, the the bottom half bottom. is like the tarp kind of material. And then it goes up several inches on all sides. But the problem was that the water eventually just started pushing the t- sides of the tent down far enough that the water started going in the vents <laughs> and the windows yeah, of so the tent. Yeah, so Ashley was in actual danger. And, and then I and, lost my mind. And and Carmichael was actually at that point floating on, on the inflatable, the inflatable, inflatable air, mattress air mattress <laughs> inside of the tent. Ashley like, waterbed? Cool. <laughs> so cool that boy, that boy is not I, okay with water. Carmichael, I open the, the tent. I scream, <laughs> I need help now. And all of us were there, which I thank you guys again for. But and then like some people we didn't people even know from surrounding sites, like six or seven other people. It's like we blew the, blew the conk, right? And it's just like <laughs> all these nerds show up. So like everything I brought is underwater at this point. Oh yeah, and except for what Ashley could grab before the flood inside the tent happened. And at that point, I have completely lost my mind, and I just went and got my car, and I was like, "We're done. We're going home now. That's this it. Max Game over." over. <laughs> Max talks over. You Sorry, win guys. nature. <laughs> I'm going home now. As a matter of fact, I kept saying that on the walk to my car because the walk was like three quarters of a mile. Yeah, away, yeah. And it was raining real goddamn hard. Oh, and yeah. It was thunder and lightning. And I was just Adam like, was sure he win. was going to die. You win. You win. Win, Sky. You, I'm going home now. You win. I'm done. You don't, you don't have to keep it up. You can stop now. I'm still leaving. Yeah. It's fine. And then when I got my car, I was parked all the way at the end. Yep. Getting my car back to through road. The, well, through the clay. Terrifying. I literally just slid sideways the entire dude, time. Dude. Oh, man. It was yeah. a nightmare. There's still bits of clay. Drift. 
falling Drift. off of my car. Yeah, it was terrible. So I pulled my car up, and I had a full-blown panic attack, and I was not okay. And these guys helped me pack up the majority of the things that we could fit in my car in the immediate future. And then me and Ashley hightailed Bing! home. Followed right behind by you, right? You left immediately. I left like by by the end by the end of the night. What started as eight was then quickly three. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All that remained was myself, Annie, and Huey for the night. And I kept checking. I was I had Apollo in the tent because there was no way I was just going to let him walk around and then go back into the tent. My dog is is a nightmare. <laughs> he he's also could have just may have gotten washed away. But I, I kept going into my tent and making sure everything was dry, and I could push down on the bottom of my tent, and it felt like a water bed. That's how much water was flowing underneath of my tent. It was, and it I was went insane. in, and I checked with my tent butler, and he told me everything was fine. <laughs> he had already locked everything down. His so. tent came with the Jeeves. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it comes with a hollow, hollow butler. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I, I, I had talked to my tent, not a drop of water in it, it that I didn't track into. Our it. tent was completely <laughs> dry until it physically until got bowled over. Bowled over, yeah. Yeah, I think Matt's start Matt's Matt's tent, Matt and Lydia's tent, I don't think it was a waterproof one, but they had it set up on a tarp. Yes. But once but eventually they started taking on water and they also decided to bail, understandably so. Hmm. Although arguably everyone could have just stuck it out in Huey's tent. That's true. It was a sizable tent. <laughs> yeah, the I had, reason I got we three left four, because I didn't know that. I didn't have a, everything no, had been dropping. <laughs> well, I didn't have a dry stitch of clothing. Yeah, oh, well, you, yeah. You guys yeah. were totally toast. The only thing that we That's had. That's the worst oh, situation. My God, I'm going to tell this story. I'm going to regret it. I know this story. story. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Here too. we go. We, there was only two dry pieces of clothing <laughs> that we owned at, in, yeah. in our possession. And they were because they got left in the car. And Ashley had a dress and a pair of her jersey shorts, like girl jersey <laughs> shorts. So she took the dress. And I drove home <laughs> in nothing but ladies' gym shorts. <laughs> I made I, I felt really bad, but I made Ashley pump gas because I was like, I can't get out of the car like this. This oh, is yeah. completely <laughs> shirtless man. And I was barefoot, and driving barefoot That's is the most uncomfortable thing. Oh, yeah. Ugh. <laughs> well, you're a hobbit. Well, yeah. Orvi, <laughs> yeah. Orvi chooses not to wear shoes on the regular. Shoes are dumb. <laughs> so like they yeah, me. I was coming down from a panic attack. I was in nothing, literally nothing but girls' gym shorts, driving barefoot home three and a half hours. I was miserable. I was well, like, that's where I, we pick up the story. Yep, and, and that's that's where we are. Let's talk I about mean, miserable. Yeah, we, we we weren't miserable. We were having a grand old time. Uh, actually, you know who who showed up? Will showed up. Yeah, Will Cooper pretty sorry, much helped sorry. us through the entire well, thing. I remember Will Cooper. I, a lot of that I actually don't remember. I've actually kind of blacked it out. Yeah, because Coops, I had Coops a was nasty there. Uh, attack. Who else was hanging he out? He gave we me had like 12 trash helpless. bags. I yeah, remember. Prater was around. Um, the guys from across the street were helping. Yes. And then after after everybody left, it was just Cooper. Was that Star Wars there? I think Star Wars was there, but and, he was falling asleep. And, uh, <laughs> As he uh, tends to and do. Steve was there. From, uh, what's his name? Steve Van... The photographer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Steve and Van Sickle. Van Sickle, yeah, that's what it is. And we just sort of sat under the tarp, and we looked around, and we're like, you know what? Nobody else had a single problem. Oh, yeah, it was Everybody only else us. was fine. Yep. It was just us. Yeah. Because <laughs> all their problems flowed directly into our into camp. Our camp. Every single problem they could have had came directly to my fucking tent. Steve, <laughs> Steve said that on his campsite, one of the tents had uprooted and just started to float away <laughs> <laughs> and that was about he's like we had it pretty bad but we're also in one of the flood things and and it was just everybody else there's still partying going on there's like a rave happening so next year regardless of the forecast we're getting a tent on higher a spot on higher ground i want to get like a stage <laughs> that we can all be on i don't know i'm pretty sure i was on that stage that brand was performing on that was a rickety fucking i'm stage. pretty sure that washed <laughs> away that was by just the end of the an weekend. old flatbed farm trail yeah yeah that's <laughs> all it was like wood <laughs> Logs under the tires. Yeah. Well, Brand Brand brought us up to do me and Jana to do the dance for my my simple pop song, and we're as as we're just do like it's not an intense dance or anything. It's it's nice easy moves. It's a little complicated. <laughs> well, hey, you got to keep it simple. <laughs> <laughs> but it's 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 just got a few easy moves that everyone can do, so the whole crowd can get into it. And it's just the three of us up there doing that, and the whole stage is like wobbling yeah. underneath of us. Like I was concerned that we were going to like knock over one of the PA stands, yeah, or something. and just start rolling down the yeah. hill, yeah, because we were up a hill, yeah. As but, we discovered with your attempt being on that same <laughs> bottom of the hill that just kept going down. <laughs> so, yes, but, did. what the remains of Adam's tent had been dragged over into the empty and now empty campsite. Oh just, man, it was full of uh, just the like the silt and dirt and funk. And we just dragged it over, and we set it on a on a picnic table, and we were like, 
this is tomorrow's problem. <laughs> yep. That's it. Now, I will say that I, I was like, where's my tent? And you guys were like, you, I think you guys saw that I was completely distressed. And you were like, dude, just go home. Yeah. <laughs> we'll take care of this. You don't want to deal with that. Just go home. So that's what I did. <laughs> it's true. You know, honestly, <laughs> Hant, you rain fly, perfect condition. Yeah. <laughs> but turns out. A lot of good that else, did. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Well, if the water would have attacked, if, yeah, if the water would have attacked him from the top, have been it, he was fine. But so it came, it, it, but it flanked you. It just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so the, I mean, the shield generator was up, and they landed and came in with walkers. Yeah. Is the problem? Just, that's, yeah. God, yeah. <laughs> it's all you had. <laughs> I'm, I'm really proud of that the scout. Tent. That tent, for what it was, held up. I mean, it took a flood to take it out. <laughs> like, no, that site, that site should not be a site. They should throw down yeah. rocks and then mark it as a drainage area. It yeah, shouldn't be a site. I agree. It, it was, it was redonk. If you're going to Magstock and they give you campsite 20 next year, or don't 21. take Deny it. it. So yeah. the, the, the partially the best part of this is that we showed up and they told us we were in campsite 21. And we go down to Camp Site 21, and, there were and there's, there's, like, there's people there. Yeah. So we're like, what the hell? And then we figured, like, oh, maybe it's to the right, not to the left. And we found out that we knew who was in to the right, and they weren't actually using it. Was it. Dom. it yeah, it was Dom was in Site 20, Dom's and he just wasn't actually using it because he was sleeping yeah. in his car. So we're like, oh, sweet. This is open. We're here. We'll just set up here. They were, they were It'll be fine. They were otherwise going to put our, like, six tents on one site. And we looked at the other sites around us that were, some of them, twice the size of one of our sites. And it was, like, one or two tents. Right, right. It was ridiculous. Yeah. And so anyways, at the, at the end of the storm, we looked over at site 21, and it was, like, it was a little damp, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were, we were, we were, we took the bullet there. And the funny thing is, is that when we first got there, I told Adam that we should save that spot for one of the smaller tents, and he wanted it. <laughs> <laughs> I did it to myself. It's fine. I did this to me. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, I've, I've learned my lesson. I don't have an opinion on that shit anymore. I think, go should, I think we should. Go, go, and then I think we should go. Then I think we should just bring like a shipping crate. I think we should crate, go for the middle. Container. I think we should stay in the middle. Yeah. Next time. One that's a nice central area. You can, people can come from both sides. Yep. Yeah, so. And uh, yeah. I think I think we can do that. So you and I stayed up pretty late. We did. We just kind of hung out. Just even it even stopped raining again after this. Yeah, I dropped cell. by that night to to yeah. find Ryan gone, Adam, Ashley, everybody. Yeah, gone. he he. Brand came by. I and saw he was the like, marks. What happened? The... And like Huey and I show up in tattered clothes, and we're like, yeah. "You weren't here, man." Muddy, and we just look like we've been through some shit. Yeah. And we you have. Could, you could see the marks on the uh, picnic table, how high the water went. Which yeah, is crazy yeah, we kept pointing high. down to that. That, so, good... And you know what? And you know what was the uh, another miracle of that story hmm. is is the the survival of Chris Pratt. Chris despite, Pratt, despite was being in, <laughs> despite being made of cardboard, he, he never went down. No, he and didn't. he never just he never rotted. He was like perfectly conditioned. We he, we, he's he, he's now living in the Magfest office. He's, he's <laughs> hanging out in the Polaris Lounge. He's going lounge. to a better place. <laughs> you know all I'm saying. That's still there. That's great. Did you see it at Magstock? Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, it's all there. I have the uh, board games thing for whenever. I can bring it. I'll put the big board games sign from MagFest from last year's MagFest. Awesome. Wherever we put my board games. You <laughs> 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 uh, Okay, so then the next morning rolls around and we sort of stagger out of our tents. We're and scoping look at the, out the situation. Yeah, you stagger out really we're early. We're surprised. We're, su- we're making sure we're not like just dead and like in some sort of purgatory at this point. <laughs> so we're sitting down and we're like, you know, we could make breakfast. And then <laughs> we're basically like, that's just. What should we do? And then across the way, this DJ begins. Oh, yes. We were trying to figure out what we wanted to do. And then the world's worst DJ. And if you're listening, I'm sorry, but you need to work on your craft. Do better. So, (laughs) and it got to the point, I mean, long... A couple hours later, the half empty energy tank guys went over there and gave him a few beers. And they're they're like, hey, man, these are for you. And he's like, oh, thanks, man. And and they were like, can you... Can you stop now? <laughs> and he was like, oh, oh, uh, th- all right. I mean, how was it? And the guy just looked at him and apparently said, it was horrible. <laughs> just left. And then Spun just left. And wow. left. So and this dude, guy, so, so to, to, to describe what was, was happening, it sounded like this guy had just gotten, like, had just gotten his turntables, had a bunch of sound kits and, like, downloaded a bunch of whatever and was just going through piece by piece just there was there was a five or ten minute period where he was was just just playing he was just blasting arcade sound effects just in a row like he just went and and it didn't stop 
And we're like, we need to get the fuck out of here because we're going to kill this insane. guy. He played and the Macarena. He did. Oh, my God. And, but, but then halfway. Th- oh, dude. And then he, he would he would throw in record scratches at and he would horribly. Be, and he, he would, would come in and be like, uh, turn down for what? <laughs> and then he would cut out. Uh, he would, he was, would he would do the thing where he would start playing a song. And just as the song like, hit, starts getting into its groove, he'd just change the song. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it was so bad. Yes, so wait, so, so so that convinced us to just leave. Yeah, because Saturday f- Saturday morning we got there about ten thirty to your tent uh, from our side, and you guys were all just kind of getting up, getting ready. So we did the same thing Sunday morning. And you guys were fucking packed. The <laughs> yeah. tarp was down. The tents were gone. Cutting we came to help. But that DJ started. Fun. That means that DJ started at fucking nine a.m. or something. It was loud and it was early. And it really like, I, early. I know. I know we weren't in the quiet, quiet area of the site, but we but were you supposed don't need a DJ to be in the mid round. Yeah, who does that? It a dickhole who goes through sound dildo. effects. So the night before, we had gone to get our cars, and that was an exciting adventure. Because oh, that was yeah. Just, so so we went uh, once the rain died down after the second cell. We went, We also made the trek that Adam made in, in the darkness, and we took the worst lamp. We took your mini lamp, and that thing doesn't actually project light. I don't know what the hell technology <laughs> that it lamp does. is. It projects light straight into your eyes, so you never have <laughs> so any you can't night see vision. Anything else? <laughs> yeah, that lamp. It doesn't no actually horrible. project light anywhere except to your. F- it like just it makes <laughs> it just makes the immediate or, area around it super bright. Or we kept rotating it, hoping to find this magical location <laughs> where it would give it's us like light. It's like a picture that follows you around. Us. Yeah. Hey. Except I don't for know. it was the worst lantern ever. Physical. I wanted to intentionally just hurl it into the night. <laughs> you should have, because I hate that thing too. Wait, yeah. Oh I man, I don't know why. that was <laughs> funny. <laughs> she loves and then, it. Yeah. I love a lamp so much, especially uh, when it's shitty. So we're walking out to the I car. A good lamp. And I don't love a good lamp. Before you get out to the grass that was the far away area, there is a huge See. landscape of clay. Oh man! And it was to the we had c- clay caked onto it. It, it was our shoe, <laughs> and then a solid inch. And all around the edges, it looked like we were wearing moon shoes. Yeah, like I was like, "Are are your feet getting heavier?" I mean, look down, and it's just like this packed <laughs> on, like extra. I don't know, horrible layer of of clay mess, clay poop. So Cloop. yeah, yeah, pretty much. So, anyways, we get into our car and we drive and we start driving down. And Huey, were you in front? No, you were in front. Oh yeah, yeah, because you were behind me, and and I'm just. I, as Adam said, the clay has you have no traction. I was my car was I had just gotten degrees. I just ha- I, I had just gotten new tires too, and I had nothing. I had nothing. <laughs> my the grooves were instantly full of clay, and then the tires were also just, like our shoes, just packed. And as we're as we're driving through it, you can just hear the chunks of clay <laughs> slapping against your wheel wells. Just oh my god! So I'm behind was, him, and I'm like, I'm not really steering right now. He's like, I can't brake. No. If Orby stops. There's going to be a problem. Break, so, yeah. <laughs> no, I, 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 too, was just slowly, I was just listing forward, and then my car was slowly turning to the right yep. as I was still yep. mo- exactly maintaining my forward momentum. <laughs> yep. And That's I was exactly just like, well, if I, if <laughs> Huey's going to hit me if I can't keep my momentum up, so I'm just not going to let off the gas, I guess, it and was, hope I get some traction. I yeah, was really hoping was, that I didn't hit any cars on the sides. Yeah, yeah. I was honestly hoping, because like, when we pulled in, there's like that little dip. Yeah. And I was hoping that the dip was not full of like horrible just nightmare mud. goop yeah. <laughs> that would that would, lock it would just me there absorb that it, yeah that had just become quicksand and yeah. ate our cars. That's a problem, <laughs> man. I, when I was it, a kid, I was scared of quicksand, and that would have been like some like childhood nightmare <laughs> shit. Oh man! <laughs> but so then we yeah let's let's see we broke everything down. They they called me. To Apollo make sure that found I really his ball. To that was awesome. That's a cool story. So, so the Apollo has my my dog has a specific red Kong ball that is the only he de- he destroys all of his other toys. It's the only thing that can withstand his immense destruction that was is within that tiny <laughs> pup. And it's the Puppies only yeah. thing that matters to him. Yeah, I've never seen universe. a dog attached to an item as much as he is attached to this ball. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but uh, anyways, it w- we realized in the morning we're like, oh no, it was on the ground. It's probably gone forever. I thought it would wash away. Yeah, it, it would probably wash down into the river. It doesn't float, I thought, so maybe I, I was going to go look down in the creek, but I, we were busy backing up, so I just told Apollo to find it. I said, Apollo, go find your ball. Go find it. So he runs around for a little while, and he's, he's running around while we're wrapping <laughs> stuff up, <laughs> and, and he's using the puppy radar. And eventually, we look over, and he's going nuts, and he's like hopping in and out of Huey's tent, and hopping in and out of Huey's tent. And I was like, Huey... I think the ball's under, under your, your tent. T- and sure as shit. Holy Huey shit. walked in there and started feeling around with his feet, and he found the lump. 
and he started kicking it, kicking it out under his tent. And sure enough, the dirtiest <laughs> ball in the universe. There it is. Oh, it was Fire. probably grosser than hell. It was a oh, nightmare. Yeah. There, were, but you know, Apollo was happy. He, there was a happy. There was, was a rainbow of that day. Oh no, he was he was super <laughs> excited. That was really cool. That was that was that was a good time for Apollo. And then he promptly rolled in dirt and mud. And yeah. he was all about that. He was yeah. like, hey. You have to th- throw him in the lake. Yeah, that's why I didn't want him out while it was actually raining and while there was a river, because he would have just jumped right in and splashed around. Yeah, he yeah. liked water. Carmichael did not. No, Carmichael, Carmichael was a great Carmichael little motor. No, when Carmichael you hold on to his water, he just hates when people are unsafe in the water and jump off the dock into oh, the water. Yeah. <laughs> and what and what Carmichael views as unsafe is being in the water. <laughs> <a little> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. And then okay, so you guys come home. And we came home. And then the next day. On Monday, we did. Mag's talk was not over because we lost our night. We lost and, the night, and we weren't going to have it. So we decided, and when everybody gets out of work or everybody gets done whatever it is they're doing for the day, everybody head to Huey's because we're having Mag stock the lost night. It's happening. Turbo HD remix. So at Huey's house, he has ample room upstairs for board games. We played some board games. We and went then outside. in the backyard, he's got we a, had, he dug a fire pit. We had some fire. We did modern s'morefare. We did do modern s'morefare. It wasn't advanced s'morefare. I don't know. It was pretty advanced. Actually, it was. There was it a lot of. There was a lot. There was a lot of. Was it so, so Huey's. Gram. Huey's. It was. There was no Ooh. multi-flavored glam, but there were mega mallows. Uh, uh, and Huey, Huey's alter ego, the Mallow Fallow, is the master of marshmallow roasting, and he was having a, a hard time with it, uh, with the with the new the the Mega Mallow. I spoke to the Mallow Fallow, and he told me that the real problem is the surface area doesn't actually like it'll actually cook before the core cooks, unlike a standardized Mallow, which cooks thoroughly after it's brown on the outside, golden brown. Uh, it's it's, mu- it's 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 mushy on the inside when it crowns, which means when the two little prongs kind of <laughs> pass through it. That means that it's edible and it's perfect. But you can't do that with these. But he also ones. decided that the tool, none of the tools around a man is were capable a tool. of what you needed to happen. Exactly. <laughs> he needed to happen. We also had a naysayer, a blasphemer. We did have a blasphemer. Oh, man. And oh, right. He cooked about meat. That. He cooked a marshmallow hot dog. He, he, wrapped, uh, he, he, he cooked a hot dog and then wrapped it in mallow. That like some sort of terrifying, gross. bizarro yeah. pig in a blanket. It was a nightmare. I've, <laughs> it was like I a cried pig in a pillow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pig in a pillow. Gross. Yeah, oh my pig, God. A, pig in a blanket is a real thing that is good. Yeah, yeah that's why I said it was like a bizarro yeah. one. It yeah, was... then I – so that night made me question my, uh, your existence as a person. You taught me how to play a Netrunner, and I beat I you. I did. I don't know if you were going easy on me because you were teaching me or if I beat you. I don't expect always be to go easy on somebody. I don't. I don't want to answer that question. Fuck me. <laughs> I want you to remember that night as it was, as not that. how it is. <laughs> as a beautiful, I beat Orvi on the first time I played. I do that. I played Puerto Rico this weekend for the first time. The guy taught it to me, and I beat him by two points. Nice. Oh man. Pew. Yeah. But 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 then but then I I I. I also then succinctly crushed everyone's spirits to the point that we didn't even finish a game. Suddenly of Legendary. and out of nowhere. In Orby fashion, <laughs> we're playing Marvel Legendary. We are all got about the same amount of points. And then Orby hits the Mastermind twice and kills all the monsters on the board and has more than twice as many points yeah, as all Yeah, we're, we're like halfway through. We're maybe two-thirds through the game. We're all starting to get to the – it's a deck builder. So we're, the point, so we're getting to the point where, like, everybody's starting to have a cool deck. And, like, I yeah. think – like I think all of us have like a pretty have a pretty cool. All hand. of us have a hand where we're like, oh yeah, next turn's gonna be cool. And Orvi's just like, oh, game's over. I just got like a million points. I win. <laughs> I did draw my entire deck. He drew his entire. And I did Iron clear Man the entire deck, board. Every fucking tech card. All, all it was it was Iron Man and Hawkeye tech was which I, was what I was yeah. focusing, and people were just letting Still me still learning it up. that game. <laughs> and what what oh, to man. do and what not to do. <laughs> <laughs> I played once before. That's all I needed. <laughs> So speaking of Orvi winning, winning and shit, I was just gonna say that, that was our mag stock wrap. Let's let's get back into something a little more normal for us, and away from the flooded nightmares that. Was Despite that. all of the madness that happened at mag stock, though, it was actually really awesome, well I'll, organized. It was fun. Yeah. Put that on. My I'll show was I fucking. Had, you had an awesome show. Like people were already sweaty and wet, so they didn't give a shit about their clothes. Mag prom, it was awesome. There was fucking thousands of people there, but the from my perspective, like the first ten, thirty people, forty people out. They were dressed up nice. They weren't really in the mood to dance. There were right. people dancing in the middle. There was a giant circle. It was far away from me. I couldn't get there. But with this one, they were fucking wet and dancing. The and energy gross, was there. And the energy was so fucking high. It, it was, was awesome. such a fun set. 
Holy I shit. mean, we were hamming. We and were hamming Syracuse hard. Yeah. It was a good You know, people. honestly, I wish I had brought better shoes because I couldn't ham as hard as I wanted to because I was like, I'm just oh, going to yeah. slip right out of these and Yeah, fall. this is, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, the mag, the mag mooks are master of hamming. When it, comes, yeah. when it comes to the bands we, we personally know, we go out of our way to just be obnoxious in the oh, audience. So <laughs> <laughs> to the point of actually, you know, forming shitty cover oh, versions of many of them. Proto Mans. <laughs> so, the Proto Mans, uh, yeah, Rush so Jet. To, yeah. uh, what, was, what was our. Uh, Professor Shy Guy it was. Did uh, we have one? Did I don't you think have we one? Ever did one. No, I, I came up with one. Uh, oh, just a pun. Yeah. Oh yeah. The band name, yeah, I forget what it was. It was. I want to play jam- drums for the fake my band. Yeah, That's totally. not about me. Anyway, well, we'll I forget what it was. Oh, yeah, well, it was something extrovert. It was. It was Professor. We just Fly came guy. up with, <laughs> with a new one for the Disney band. Oh well, no, uh, we're not gonna talk about that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, That's gotta be. We've yeah, already be said too much. <laughs> Let's get in. Let's let's get into something a little more normal. Like I was out. saying before, let's get into the mobile gaming challenge. Relatively normal. We decided last time that the mobile gaming challenge was going to be a game called Bird Climb. Bird Climb. I played a lot. I didn't play nearly as much as and everybody I else did. Is Bird Climb. It's a, it's <laughs> fun. It's, it's a fun games. little mobile it's game. It's okay, I guess. <laughs> We've been so doing, doing kind of we've been doing kind of lame tappy games. I want to get back into the more like structured games. I okay. I like those more myself. Well, then pick one that. What did you? Is on. Yeah, well, you won, <laughs> so you're gonna get yeah. pick sure. one. But let's get into scores. All right. I'm so fucking depressed about this because I tried <laughs> real goddamn hard. How so, many games did you? Well, we're starting. Yeah, with Ryan. get get score yeah. and games how played because it tracks that, which is pretty cool. And how many games did you play? I had 130 games played. Okay. And my <laughs> high score was 24. Okay, that's respectable. <laughs> I don't. Know. It's a Huey. I don't know the scoring level, but twenty-four sounds so low. I'm sure it's no, going to be. It's, it just sounds it's, it's like pretty it's reasonable. Pretty yeah. play arcade game. Thir- Thirty is probably points. like pretty darn good. Yeah. yeah. Huey doesn't have his data because he had to get a new phone after Max died. Uh, but I. Oh wait, no, I do. It popped in. Uh, yeah, high score thirty-one. To, you just needed to connect. Probably. Games played was thirty-five. Well, I played wow. thirty-five yeah. times. Okay, well that's pretty solid. Hmm. Because I mean, well, you, I, I barely garbage. played, but I was like, you just 31. called it there. You're yeah. like, That's I it. had a high score of 32, ah. oh, putting man. me in second place. I'll announce games played here in a second. Orvi, <laughs> give me your scores. <laughs> uh, I also ended with a two, but I went for 42. That's and so once I la- once I, once I ended on 42, I was like, well, I can't beat that. It's 42, and it's high. Like I, I don't, I don't even want to beat it. I want that to be my high score. So, how many games did you play? Uh, I, I I went pretty hard. Uh, I went two thirty. Oh yeah, real oh, wow. hard. And and I probably ha- I I probably have like maybe maybe thirty more on my. F- I played job briefly on my phone, <laughs> but the phone was too small. I have a job. You know how many games I played? Four hundred. Five hundred and forty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Five hundred. God. Wait. So so were you just like. So were, would you just start and speed through it and like lose a lot on the lower levels? Maybe is that what you were no, doing? No, I or? I could speed through ten without even thinking about right, it. Right? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Did you guys ever do any of the multiplayer ones where you like fight the other person? Yes, goes? I did. Yeah. It was it was all right, but it, it didn't really add anything. I did it for to the it. gems, just so I could buy more <laughs> right. ducks and shit. How I many have, birds did you buy? About three. I have seven. That's way too many birds. <laughs> I flapping only, ass birds. I, only, I, bought, I bought the 2,000 gem bird. It's just an eyeball. Oh. It's so small. What and the I, fuck? You get the flying eyeball? Yeah. Wait, let me see that. Oh, man. Because oh. I went with the 1,000 gem bird, and I thought that was exciting. I got, like, some sort of toucan. Yeah. It has a toucan. I got, like, oh, a wow, toucan yeah. guy. That's pretty cool. Jesus. You start man. with the default red bird, like yes. a little cardinal guy. I like the duck. He's so Orby, the duck is pretty cool. Orby <laughs> won by a lot. I have so many birds. Look how many birds I have. That's too Let me cool. see. Oh, so that's the next birds. <laughs> and Ryan, didn't you have a game in mind? No. No. I do. If, but oh, you do. Hungry Shark. It's for both. Now, I have that game. What's the game you guys were playing? Tappy bird, bird Climb. Bird, bird climb. climb. All right. Tappy Bird. Tappy Bird. It's okay, really so Hungry Shark. But how, how are we going to do that? So here's basically here's what we're going to do. There's five. There's You evolve your shark over the time. But basically, what I think we should do is you start with the reef shark, which is the first one. The right? first shark. So we do whatever. However, uh, you can upgrade that shark as much as you want. Just that shark, right? And whatever your highest score is, you can get with that shark. That's what we go with. Yeah, but that's a that's a dumb tappy game, and Orvi wants to play like Stratego. No, that's, that's fine. That's not. That's not. <laughs> no, Orvi, no Orvi, you want it's your it's your choice. Yeah, it's, your, it's your turn. I mean, I'm just I, I, I didn't look anything up because. 
I you hate because you didn't think you were gonna win. Well, well, this isn't a dumb tappy game. I, the you last couple just... suggestions I've made have turned like all the all the games I like are apparently iOS only, and you know people have Androids because they're the worst. They're so much better. Nope. No. Oh nope. my god. I've I, so thank, you, thank you for being believer. here. I was an Android believer from the G1. I had the the the, the T-Mobile G1. How, what changed you? The you fact got an that iPhone. after six, <laughs> after six months, they're they're garbage. Android phones are garbage after no, six months. No, uh, John's got Galaxy Note three that's uh, been kicking Apple devices the, yeah. for years. The battery life on every Android Android device. What I've you ever can had. change out for six bucks? Yeah, Boom! I've got two batteries with me. Yeah, I bought several batteries <laughs> on a Galaxy S three. And they were all garbage. They're all they're all I brainwashed. The ex- you can't you can't talk to these yeah. people about no, this. No, because I had fucking dude, Android phones you, from the start. I had the first one. I did too, and I understand that you lost your way. It's okay. It was <laughs> terrible. And then I got an iPhone. You know what? It just fucking works. No, it's my iPhone. If I leave it on, looking at it. <laughs> if I play a thirty minute show with a screen on, it's at twenty percent. What? I can it's play crazy. games on this all day, and I have. And at the end of the night, it's got sixty percent in the charge. I love my battery on this one, though. It, it, you can't. You can't. I told you. you can't anyway, talk yeah, no, th- this, this is not. This is not, not the not, phone not. Also, if you <laughs> have, This isn't. This isn't a If you have podcast. more than three applications running on an Android device, it turns into a paperweight. This I haven't shut a fucking app off in six months. You should do that. <laughs> Don't have to. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, to. eight, nine, ten, eleven, yeah, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. You might 15. have the old ones. I don't know. These these galaxy. I have a, you have a Note. Yeah, I have Note three. Yeah, she's got a Note three. Yeah, you've got a, yeah. It, the Notes are great. I don't know the other ones, but the Notes are fucking great. I had a Galaxy S three, and it was absolute fucking hot garbage. <laughs> what kind of hot garbage? Hot Chinese food dumpster garbage. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, what's the game? What are we playing? I don't know. It's we're we playing Bitey Shark. No, it's Hungry can, Shark, Flappy yeah. Shark. We can do. We can. Yeah, we can do Flappy Bites. <laughs> flappy you don't bites. tap. You actually that's, guide your little shark around. There's, there's a bit more strategy that, to this that, game. That sounds like something you'd get if you if like if the iPhone App Store was a restaurant. You'd show up and order <laughs> the right, Flappy well, you Bites. Played the game. Explain <laughs> the best way for us to do a high score fair challenge. Just I just did. Did that. Oh, all right. Well, then we're doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Highest score with the first shark. First, you can upgrade as much that shark as, as much as you want. There's like three different things, and they each have five upgrade points. It doesn't. Yeah, you'll have them upgraded really quick. But yeah. basically, you guide your shark around. With uh, through this like little the ocean, virtual you D-pad. eat each uh, eat all these various fish and people and other sharks and all sorts of shit. Hungry shark, hungry shark. Yeah, and it's, it's for free? both. It's free. Oh, it's, I, I want to play it. Too. It's um, and it's you've been playing this. I have been playing it. I've been I playing I, it too. Oh, okay, you've been playing it too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and okay. it's it's got it's cool. It's got good graphics. It's not it's not like a tappy game. You actually have to do a little bit of thinking Mini because if you you will, like your shark is constantly losing health. Yeah, so. Uh, have you have to, to continue alive. to eat to stay alive, and basically, the more you eat, the, the, the game's a horror show. You're just constantly you are consuming everything. Chewing also, through. It is, is pun tastic. Oh, oh, we don't need to spoil is. any of them, but there are so many glorious the, fish the, puns. The, the words pop up for like bonuses and stuff are absolutely. I'm fantastic. excited. Let's yeah. let's do it. I would recommend playing on your iPad. I mean, you probably were going to do it anyway. But yeah, I, I've I've been for for anything that requires like actual speed and dexterity, I'll go for the iPad. Cool. And basically, you like one thumb. Guide your shark around in whatever direction, and then the other thumb, if you tap it, will make your shark dart into a boost. Right. Yep. And it's a, it's a lot of fun. It's, you got to use the boost. It's like to a get horror through. show, Echo the Donkey. Exactly. Yes, That's exactly, exactly what it That's is. Very, Sounds great. Very, right. very accurate. So there it is. That's what we're doing. All right. I think we're over an hour. I think we're going to call this one. What about press start? That happened. Press start was a horrible failure Aww. this time around. Was it? Uh, an event that I run that had seven people show up. <laughs> this past month, it was terrible. We did Pokemon Puzzle League. Nobody showed up. Uh, I was gonna say I'll be Orvi, the, eighth, Orvi, the worst. I that's fine. Orvi got uh, in the beginning. Orvi found his match. And I did. I did. I started. started I started. I started warming back up. I. I. I also, like. It's weird. I'm definitely the kind of guy that plays to my competition. Like, if I don't have someone that's better than me, then I don't really seek to improve. But like, right. as soon as someone's better than me, I'm like, all right, all right, let's all, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> The like guy, I played the just hard enough that I can win the something. first couple times, and then oh, yeah, he started yeah. getting better like instantly. It was really weird to watch. He's like a <laughs> Saiyan. <laughs> <laughs> but like the games are crazy. Fun Defeating to watch. a sandwich only makes it tastier. <laughs> so we actually didn't even run the tournament because not enough people showed up to run the tournament. Yep, oh. it sucked. I didn't even get raining. my free dinner. It was terrible. Nobody came. Like, so. it was right after Magstock too. So like, yeah. I mean, I I was like dead Thursday night. Yeah. 
And I didn't get off work until So the 10:30. next press start's going to be the last Thursday of July. It's going to be the week after uh, Artscape, and we're going to do Super Smash Bros. Melee because people can shut the fuck up and come play video games at my event. Wow. <laughs> That'll draw yeah. people. Yeah, that yeah. certainly will. I'm I'm done the worst with kind. I'm done with trying to play games that are fun, and I'm gonna appeal to the masses and put like <laughs> Madden and Call of Duty and all that garbage. John it's Madden. gonna be great. I can't wait. John Madden. John, John Madden, Madden. John, John Madden. Madden. California. <laughs> Snake. What I really Snake. wanted to do was Snake. Super Tech Mobile <laughs> and get a copy <laughs> of the guy that actually flashes the cart every year to, uh, with the updated rosters of the football teams. Mm. Oh That's, yeah, that'd be pretty fun. Uh oh yeah we have to do an old man Mike's crotchety corner. I'm Mike and I hate everybody. Thanks Mike. I mean if he was bad. listen if he was here all we can do is just take some of his old rambling audio from previous episodes and just run it over the whole mag stock recap because he just would have pooped all oh, over man, that. Oh, man, he'd been like, that Fallout sounds absolutely terrible. <laughs> oh, yeah, Don't he's not excited about games. Fallout. The graphics were terrible. Yeah, there's, there's a big conspiracy going around uh, right now where pre-ordering video games is all, all the terror that is the video game industry right now. Uh, so what else? Don't, uh, what don't, else don't do that ever. Side note, man, uh, Fallout 4's pre-order. Like sold me. So uh, hard. He probably went yard oh, sailing a bit. Oh, and, uh, I know. have. That That's story. the only reason I regret having a note because the note doesn't fit in the. Oh board. yeah. <laughs> I'm actually thinking about not getting an iPhone 6s Plus and just getting a 6s because, because it'll fit. Of that. Yeah. God damn it! I just don't like super big phones. Yeah, I don't either. I want, I want one I can like. Yeah. Even oh, even uh, the six, I was a little hesitant because of its size. Yeah. I've learned I've learned to deal with it, but like I couldn't do a six. I'm a super plus. big guy, right. so like this phone just feels normal to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It, it really does. I love this phone. This because, giant like, phone is so small in my hands. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Damn hell, giant. But yeah, let's. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna call it. We uh, we ha- Orby's the winner of the mobile it? game challenge. Hooray. We've got Hungry Shark is the next mobile game challenge. Definitely feel free to download it. It's free. Bitch ends happening. Bitch ends in Artscape Bitchin. July 17th through 19th. Bitch ends happening. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, yeah. Crazy huge lineup. Come to press start the weekend or the Thursday after that and play Super Smash Brothers Melee and buy lots of good food because their food there is really actually really, really, really good. Oh, my God. Uh, and that's going to be it. We thank Professor Shy Guy Fin-tai. for being on the show. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming out, man. Thanks. That was fun. Hey. It's going to be good times. He, hey. was, he was here. Anyway, Thanks for being here. How's he's a little quiet. <laughs> My <laughs> name is Big Adam. We're be here. I'm Huey. I'm Ryan. Thanks for listening. See you next time. <laughs> Have a week. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs>